Hey Tube, it's so Saturday morning, time to get a bit of work done. Haven't done much more on this. <laughs> With Jehu Light, like, it's about 48 hours in total, it's still going rotten thing. I've got to go back to Rowan's and drop all that back off, so I'm trying to trying to rip out one 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 more batch before I do it. And you know, I've still got more cells processing on the floor. But I've also got to go to Rowan's to get the bus bar material this afternoon so I can actually start building out all these packs. But before I do that, I've got pretty much two packs full of all the, no, I can't turn those ones, but two packs full of grey ones, um, except for the blue on the outside of course, so there's about 60 odd grey or something in there, don't quote me on my maths. So I've got to go through and mix them all up with all of those ones, and all those ones, so it makes it a little bit more balanced. The plan was with these ones to do an e-bike or something like that, and I just lost interest rather quickly. Heat shrink along these because that bit there sort of touches the cells. Peter Rowan's delivered the um, charger back again. That's been very helpful. Thanks very much, buddy, for that. Got some cable. And this is just um, good quality electrical cable. Rowan bought a, a big roll of it. So there's plenty spare if anybody wants any of that. Doing the bus bars this way rather than my old way. I think it's going to save me about 50% of the costs. Um, time will tell whether it's quicker or not. I really hope it is. Um, I've also got a FLIR, ca FLIR camera, so I can do some more tests moving forward. Make these packs a little bit more balanced. So we pull those ones down and get all that sorted first, I guess. Got to start somewhere. Okay, I've got all those packs built up the way I want to do them. Now it's time to actually get this all pulled apart. I don't know how long this is going to take. Shouldn't be that hard, I don't reckon. Should just be able to pull it out. I'm only going to be using the positive, uh, the red and the black. Um, the green's a little bit too small. So, and there's no reason why I shouldn't just be able to pull that all the way out. Oh yeah, that didn't take very long at all. We got it all separated out. I don't know how I recycle that. Two meters. Try and work out how much it um, shrinks by. Expose one of the wires. As long as doing this is quicker than making my other bus bars, this is a win. It's certainly going to be cheaper. Let's work out a way of attaching it to my bench. Now I don't actually have a vice. I don't even have a heavy enough bench to really do this on. out of the charger. Now that's bent and kinked up as anything. As soon as you put it in here, it's a But the harder I pull it, and the longer I left it twist for, the better it got. Uh, maybe next time that'll be even better. But that's a good start for now, so let's try that. It's not bad. Now, how did those boys make the template? So I should make a template next. Let's do that. Okay, so, bus parts. No. Oh wow, it's got a bit of a a kick in it. I thought that would have been nice and straight. Yeah. I wonder how I wonder how everyone gets their bars so straight. And I want to have it sort of the same as the old one. Now this is going to be a bit of a process. So I used to make the old ones. I used to space them off. So I had the this would be the bus bar material and I'd use another piece of bus bar as a spacer away from the actual um, Thing. So that's where I joined it up. If I, if I run on those same specs, I guess, 
course, what I haven't thought about, what am I going to join either end with? Okay, so a very kind YouTuber sent me a bunch of these. Okay, so they're all 30, 35 millimeters. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to go and buy more ends. Have to work that out. Have to work out how, actually how I connect those ends as well. Whether I solder them in or just crimp them or crimp and solder. I wonder how. That's not 32 mil. I'll have to work on that to work out some way of holding it down. I don't like the zip ties idea. There we go, a bit of a close up. Not much to it really. Just lay it all out. And it looks alright. I think that's going to look neat enough, what do you reckon? Just using all the mount old plastic around that end so that looks like it's going to work really really well I've just got it um, soldered every fifth point or something all the way along, just so it looks good. And I'll tell you what, Fly Jabberoo and um, a few others there are onto something with this. And then all the all I've got to do is up the end is add a, uh, add a terminal connector. Be good to go. I'm going to have to obviously buy smaller terminal connectors, and obviously this wire is going to be thicker, as this is just a, this is just a test. Now basically why I'm testing it, I just want to test layout, what it looks like, how it sits. So let's um, throw it up in my battery mount and have a look. Rightio, so we did the negative side first, so I'll move this across one. Just so we can get a feel for how it looks. Oh, well, if you look at that, that's sitting up a lot too high. I'm not really happy with that at all. Um, I think I'm going to have to bring that down to somewhere around there I reckon so it so it sits there and, and then bends over and then joins up so well wait a minute no yeah, if that bends over up there that would take some stress off if I left it all the way up there but I don't I don't like the distance here so I might short it down by about a centimeter and, and on the next test and see where we end up okay so that brings us to the next question and um, where are we going to put the long ones? So we've got a little bit of double sided, and we got a little bit of double sided on on the back. Now we've got a few choices. We can um, stick it up there, which would um, give the heat a very easy path to dissipate. It also gives very easy access to those LEDs. We could also place it. Now this is going to be a little bit hard to see. We might have to move that one. Okay, so we could also place it right back here along the back. We could still have access to the lights. Um, one of the drawbacks to being back there, I think, would be the heat. So another option is placing it right there, attaching it to the cell itself. And then we, when we add the next one, it almost becomes invisible. You can hardly see it in there. So what do you reckon, guys? I'm going to leave this video that for now. Where do you think we should put that long one? Do you think we should put it on the back? Right on the front so it's easily accessible? Or on the side like that? I like the side. I think the front will work better. Let me know what you think. Thanks very much for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one.